On this episode of Terrier Nation, we'll discuss the incredible winning streak the women's soccer team is having. Jessica Lamb will update us on men's soccer and we'll give you a look ahead at the upcoming men's and women's ice hockey seasons. All this and more tonight. Hello, and welcome back to the first Terrier Nation episode of the season. I'm your host, Kyle Finn. And I'm Mason Jablonski. With more than 5,000 in attendance at Aganis Arena for men's ice hockey's opening game, the energy on Calm Ave this season is extraordinary, and I can't wait to see the women's soccer team bring home the Patriot League title. The title is definitely in reach with the way their season is going now. From September 24th till now, the Terriers women's soccer team has been playing with great dominance on defense. Each of the last three games have been one nothing shutout wins. Their most recent and most exciting game came earlier this week on Tuesday when they defeated 25th ranked Harvard at Jordan Field. It was Harvard's first loss of the year. Other wins came against their conference opponents Navy and Lehigh. They have five games remaining in the season, all coming against Patriot League opponents. Their toughest opponents are against Army and Bucknell, both home at Nickerson Field. The Terriers are sitting in third place in the Patriot League, so every game, especially Army and Bucknell, who occupy first and second place, are important from here on out. The men's soccer team was off to a great start. However, they've been struggling to find a win recently, going seven games without a win. Our very own Jessica Lamb has more. Thanks, Mason. The BU men's soccer team has been unbeatable with our first five games at Nickerson Field, something that has not been done in the last 20 years. The team tied three consecutive home games against Boston College, Lafayette, and Army West Point thanks to some great defense, particularly by senior goaltender Francesco Montali, earning his fourth clean sheet of the season as the team was able to shut out both Lafayette and Boston College. The Terriers are doing great offensively, doubling the opponent in shot attempts with 12 shots against Lafayette, 14 against Army West Point in the last two home games. With that being said, the Terriers are currently ranked ninth in the Patriot League after tying against Army West Point last Wednesday. We look forward to seeing how the Terriers will do the rest of the season. Back to you, Mason. Thanks, Jessica. With the official start of the BU women's ice hockey season right around the corner, the team took to the ice on September 23rd for a preseason exhibition matchup with the Université des Montons. The Terriers pushed the action early, racking up three goals in the first period, including a power play goal to get BU on the board midway through the first. Moncton scored their first and only goal during the second period, but BU delivered their final blow in the third, tacking on two more goals en route to a 5-1 victory over Moncton. Juniors Lacey Martin, Annie Fitzgerald, and Catherine Fowlham all tallied two assists. Coming off a 12-15-6 record last season, the team showed incredible potential in their exhibition as they wrapped up preparations for their new season, the 18th with head coach Brian DeRocher at the helm. Opening night for BU women's ice hockey is Friday, October 7th, against RPI at Walter Brown. You know, Mason, the men's hockey season also seems to be off to a great start with their first win against Bentley last week. You're right, Kyle. I'm excited to see what their seasons have in store. The atmosphere in Aganis Arena was electric when the BU men's ice hockey team entered the rink for their opening night matchup against the Bentley Falcons. It was a tour de force for the Terriers right from the beginning, as they scored three goals within the first seven minutes of play. The Falcons scored a goal during the final minute of action in the first period, but the Terriers outscored the Falcons 2-1 in the second to carry a commanding 6-2 lead into the final frame. Two more goals for BU in the third period lifted the Terriers to an impressive 8-2 victory over the Falcons. Let's throw it over to Bell Frazier to find out what to expect from the Terriers this year. The Boston University men's hockey team has a different look this season. Jay Pandolfo, the former BU captain who served as associate head coach last year, is the new bench boss and said his biggest message going into the season is sticking to a team-first mentality. The Terriers have 10 seniors on their roster, the most since 2008, including Captain Dominic Fensori. Now a veteran group, BU is equipped with the experience and leadership to dominate in Hockey East. 
Coming off the 2022 Beanpot Championship win, the Terriers will strive to add more trophies to the case with the help of some notable freshmen who have already begun to make their mark on Com Ave. BU hosted Bentley University at Aganis Arena on Saturday, October 1st for their season opener where they won 8-2. The incoming class headlined the score sheet with Quinn Hudson, Ryan Green, Devin Kaplan, and Jeremy Wilmer garnering their first goals as Terriers and Lane Hudson collecting three assists. The Dog Pound and BU Band packed Aganis for a memorable start to the new season. The Terriers will look to maintain their momentum as head coach Jay Pandolfo's first season with the team continues on Saturday, October 8th, with an exhibition game against Waterloo at Aganis Arena. We wish the BU hockey teams the best of luck as they progress in their seasons. And that's going to do it for us tonight on Terrier Nation. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter for all the BU Sports news and updates. I'm Mason Jablonski. And I'm Kyle Finn. For all of us here at Terrier Nation, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.